Alright, Shalom, I'm Mike Young. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Sah, Ba Hashem, Rakakudash. Let it get double honors to the positive elders of the Great Millstone. Let it say Shalom to the elect that's using the word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson. Thus said the Lord. You know, because really, you know, every time we do these videos and go on highways and heads, we make these certain statements. You know, guess what? It's, it's all through the scriptures, man. Everything you say is, is going to be scriptural, man. You know, it's nothing like we coming with our own vain opinion. You know, you might make a statement, brag it up with the scriptures, or, or you, or, or the script, because the scriptures talk for us, man. You know, everything we say, brag it up with the scriptures, or we might just pull the scripture and, and break it down, man. You know, it all back goes back to the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Matter of fact, um. This Jeremiah 1 and, um, and 9. It said, Then the Lord put forth his hand, and who was that hand? You have a shot, man, and touched my mouth. See? Man, what the Lord had bestowed upon us, the spirit of prophecy, man. You know? Because what the testimony of Yahweh shot, the spirit of prophecy. When we preach Yahweh shot, we prophesy, man. Because these prophecies is built up to Yahweh shot, man. I was saying, when you see these things come to pass, Know that your redemption drawing out. That you really redemption. That's your house shot, man. Cause that's what it all goes back to. But we said he touched forth, put forth his hand and touched my mouth. It said, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, meaning what? We're going to prophesy, man, and we're going to speak his words. That's why we uh, like uh, the prophets always start off. Thus said the Lord. You know. It started off, yeah, the, the words of the Lord came unto me, you know. These are the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shadow we speaking on. It's none of our vain opinion, man, you know. Because the words hold weight when it's bad, the scriptures, man. Matter of fact, let's get in and, um, let's get that in Romans. Romans, the third chapter. Romans 3, and I just started 3. It said, for what a son did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? See? You, you don't understand. You, you you don't believe the uh, that we say that America's gonna be destroyed, and then we bag it up with a scripture. You think the Lord is gonna say, you, "See, see, don't understand." I'm gonna stop it. No, man. That why it's a question mark right there. You know, it said the Most High forbid. It means no, man. No, these words still is gonna accomplish where to He sent it. Oh, it sent. See. Then he sent, uh, the Lord sent the disciples, now, now they are apostles, man. Then the Lord sent out these prophets. He, the, the, the prophets is the one that the, the carriers of the word, man. And, okay, the Lord said, okay, now it's time he's going to send his word to America. That's where we at now, man. You know? And it's going to accomplish what we please. The Lord, is, is, he, what, what, is, what is the intent of the Lord is, is that this whole land be desolate, man. So that's that's gonna that's gonna do, be done away with because you don't believe. No man, it said the Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man alive. See, meaning what? What it says in the scriptures. What, what whatever it says in the scriptures, that's that's true, man. You know, the Lord said He's not a man that He should He should lie, man. You know, so it said let the Most High be true, meaning what? What what it says in the scriptures? It said, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sins, and might as overcome when thou art judged. See? So, meaning what? We're going to bag it up with the scriptures. When we say that America is going to get destroyed, you know, there's a few options we have. You, you might go to Jeremiah 51. You know, you might go to uh, 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 Revelation 18 chapter. You know, this is how we're going to be justified. Why? Because these words are going to come to pass, man. Why? Because we speaking the words of y'all by some other side. You know, we are the mouthpiece of the Lord, man. Matter of fact, um, let's get that real quick. First Samuel 9. <clears throat> First Samuel 9 and 9. It said, before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, see? And it let you know that it was prophets um, back then, you know, even from the beginning, even, uh, you know, like such as Enoch, but even when... um. I think it was Rebecca when she said she, uh, she went to inquire of the Lord. Well, there was really Isaac and Rebecca going to a prophet, man. You know, they was really going to a prophet, man. 
It says, when a man, it's like it said before in time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of the Most High, see, thus he spake, come and let us go to the seer, see? For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. See, why? Because we, the Lord gave us the eyesight to see the end, man. You know, the, he gave, it was a spoiler alert. You know, we know the, the, the latter end of this place. You know, we know the, the events that's on our rise, on our horizon, man. You know, why? Right? Because the Lord, that's his intense, man. You know, it ain't like you, uh, uh, when a director make a movie, you know, it just stopped at scene one. No, it, 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 it's, a, it's a plethora of scenes that is a build up to the end. And we at the end scene, man. You know, but the point is, is what? The, the seers. Is is uh is that is that um is that um is the mouthpiece of the Lord the, the carriers of the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man, you know. Matter of fact, was that uh Second Ezra fifteen, Second Ezra fifteen and one? It said, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy." See, that testimony, man, you know. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. See? So like it. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. See, so the Lord, you know, it ain't like we coming out of our own uh, vain opinion, man. No, we speaking what the scripture says, man. You know? We, we speaking about what the scripture says. Oh, the scripture says this about, about bundles of sticks. Okay, this this was supposed, even though we don't, we don't, we don't put it to action, but we saying this is how it's supposed to go down because that's what the Lord said, man. You know, we saying that this this this, this place is gonna suffer a great famine. Don't you see that, man? You know, it said and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Don't you see us flipping pages? You know, you might hear it on the video. The, the pages flipping because this is this these words are faithful and true. They're gonna hold the test of time, man. You know, the Lord has has he's never lied, man. You know, everything he said, he did it, man. Matter of fact. You know, let's go to uh, Isaiah 46. Everything the Lord said, he did it, man. You know, Isaiah 46 and 10, it said, declaring the end from the beginning. See, uh, just hopping back on, I said something about Enoch. Didn't, didn't scripture say he prophesied of the Lord coming with his, the, the host of heaven, man? You know, all, all, during the time of Genesis, he, he, was, he was prophesying of that, man. You know? And guess what? It, it's been, it, we in the end where everything is now being made manifest. These words are showing, the words of the Lord are showing itself. Hey, why the scripture says he's a, he's a wonderful counselor, man. Because, hey, it's, it's, you know, uh, you, you know, uh, you know you, your parents, you know, they might give you a warning. And then, like, I can show you better than I can tell you. But that's your how about the smell shot. The Lord is showing us, man. Because these people ain't getting it, so guess what? You know, he ain't getting it when you tell him. Well, he gonna show you, man. You know? He said, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Yeah, because the Lord wrote this certain scene. He wrote He wrote a certain event. But guess what? He, he might say it in the time of Ezekiel. He might say it in the time of Isaiah. But guess what? It was meant for these words to come to play here in America, man. You know? This matter of fact, since I said that, the Lord told Ezekiel that, tell them that. Matter of fact, let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Ezekiel tw uh, 12 and 26. Again, the word of the Lord came to me. See? It's not what Ezekiel said. He said, Y'all better stop, because I think, no, man. Ezekiel, and that's let you know that um the prophet, the prophets, when they spoke, they spoke spoke with authority because the Lord gave them the power, you know, because they, he gave his word, man. You know, that's why it, it was, it, it was uh, you know, it wasn't like I think, or uh, maybe we should. No, he said the word, how about Shmuel Shai said, do this and do that, and you gonna die. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? It, it, it comes, it, 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 you have a, uh, you have a, when the Lord gives you the word, you got authority, man. Why? Because his, his word is power, man. I would say the word, the word of a king is there is power, you know. So when you speak the words of Yahweh, just like now, start the apostles and elders, man. You know, uh, uh, 
back, you know, 35 plus years, and then how everything came when this, 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 uh, when 2007 with this YouTube, and it, and, it, and it just blossomed, man. And now you got nothing but activity. Now, in 2020, you got every, something going on every day, man. Why? Because the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, is being spoken, man, throughout the planet Earth, man. And the planet Earth is feeling that, you know. You, you ain't just hearing the word, you feel the word. You see the word now, man. You know? It says, again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, see, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say that the, vi the vision that he see of is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Therefore, the, say unto them, thus said the Lord power. See? That's it. Now we say, we in that time now. Because even back then, they was just, this just far They didn't have a sense of urgency. Same thing now with the, the, the uh, time of Noah. These people ain't got a sense of urgency, man. You know? But what we saying? Thus said the Lord power. Meaning what? Let's get a scripture. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord. See? Lord power. See? Yahweh by smell shot. So guess what? Now we in that time where we put in the scriptures, you know, you you getting the scriptures, man, and because now is the time where these words are being played, uh, being played out, being made manifest. But what the point is, Ezekiel said, thus says the Lord. The Lord is going to do this. The Lord is going to do that. And we, we saying that now, you know, in a roundabout way by getting the scriptures, man, you know. So uh, let's go back to 2nd as 15. Oh, so lock in. Second Edges 15. And I start at one again. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. See? So we speaking the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, which is, is that this is the uh, you know, the intimate uh thoughts of the Lord is found within the scriptures, man. It said, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. See? And that's what we doing, man. That was that's why we ring. That why I said you hear them pages, you hear these Bibles, even now. This this right here, this this right here, this like a uh uh the little book, man. This phone right here. This the little book, man. Everything in these words are true, man. Everything in these scriptures says are true, man. It says, um that, that's pretty much the point on that. Uh so um matter of fact, let me get this real quick. This is Rock 36. So like yeah. Okay, yeah, kind. This is Rock 36 and 14. It says, Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. See? And what's those unspeakable oracles? With these words, they was hidden for so long, man. You know, the, you know, it was a lot of parables and uh, uh dark sands within these scriptures, even within the prophecies, man, you know, just going to Revelation, when you go, go dive into the beast, you know, dealing with the ten toes and all that, but those are unspeakable oracles, meaning what people couldn't speak on, they couldn't really break it down, the only thing they can do is uh, start from verse 1 and eight, read at the end of the chapter, you know, uh, goddamn, they got Psalms 23 open, you know, but don't really know what it mean, man, now we actually going, now we're in the time where the prophets is conveying that message, man, it's, it's the prophets that's uh, filling Zion with the unspeakable oracles. We telling the people what it mean. Uh, going back again, thus said the Lord. We getting the scripture say, okay, with it. Uh, let's talk about the missiles. Let's get Joel the second child. Somebody give me uh, Jeremiah fifty one. You know, that's going to this uh, filling Zion with the unspeakable oracles, man. You know, it say, and thy people with thy glory. It said, give testimony. See. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in my name. See, so the Lord now in this time have ra has um, raised up prophets to to uh, to, to gather the elect, man. It, it, this is not for all Israel, man. This is for the elect of Israel, the nation of Israel, man. You know? Lord is now is, is uh, this, this, this is his hand that, that, that helped that hand, man. Stretch forth, it, stretch forth his hand. How he do that? By the way of the prophets, man. You know. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Uh, 
And it said the unspeakable oracle, that oracle is what the divine message was what is within the scriptures, man. You know, so this is um um Okay, yeah, this is um Proverbs one and I started twenty three. It said, Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, I will make known my words unto you. See? And who, who, how, how is the words of the Lord being made known? You know? Oh, it tells you that um, um, the book shall be open. We shall see all together, man. So the Lord is making his words known by the way on the internet, man. You actually can, can go into the scripture and say, all right, what does, you can go and type up Great Millstone, Revelation 13 breakdown. And you're going to get it. The Lord is making his words known, man. It's not like, how about you not come to your room and say, you got your scriptures? Now, I'm going to tell you what this means. No, the Lord is doing that by the way of his prophets, man. And we just read it when you inquire of the Most High. You go to the seer, man. Because the Lord is not going to just come to you, man. You got you to gotta go to the prophets, man. You know? And guess what the prophets are going to say? Thus said the Lord, man. You know? It says, um, that, that was pretty, let me see, um, let's see, and stretch forth my hand. Yep, kind of eyes like it. Verse 24, it said, Because I have called and ye refused, when the Lord ever called you, man? When, when, y'all about some out shot ever called you? It ain't like he got your number, man. You know? It ain't like the Lord hit you up and said, When you gonna come back to me? No, the Lord is doing it by the way of the prophets. That's why, um, and he don't do it in the conventional way the world said it as. He, he threatened you, man. This is how y'all about some out shot call you, but he threatened you. And how he do it? By the way of the prophets. Once again, the prophets was always known for telling you about the discretion, man. Pretty much to compare you to come in come in the house. That's just like saying it's going to rain. Get in the house before it starts raining. Well, that's what the Lord doing. You better, you better get right before I wreak havoc on the planet Earth, man. You know? Pretty much, you all, uh, we, we got to, uh, pretty much the Lord is, is giving you time to wave the white flag before he wreak havoc upon this place, man. But who who's conveying that message, man? Who is the messenger, man? You know, the prophets, man. And then, like I said, it like we, it's our own vain thing. We're going to go to the scriptures, and now we're seeing these events that's, get, that's being played out. Well, you can go to the scriptures and say, it, it's, these, really, it's the scriptures that's now rating. Because now is the time for, this, for these words to be made alive, man. You know, for these words to be made manifest like it. And it lets you know the Lord is alive and well, man. You know? It says, um, because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. See? You got you got men on the highways and, and, and hedges, man. You got all these YouTube pages, man. Flooding the internet, man. It, it, now, it, there is no way you don't know about uh, the Israelites. You know, there is no way you don't know about these scriptures in some, faith, some way, form, or fashion, man. You know? But who's the one that conveyed that message of prophets, man? And guess what we're going to say? Thus said the Lord. You got a question? Thus, okay. You said, about who? The Edomites? Well, let's get this. Let's go to the book of Obadiah. That's, that's your Obadiah Shemel Shai speaking, man. That's, that's, that's his um, intimate thoughts, man. You know, this is actually the movie script, the, the Bible, man. You know, so you say, okay, what's going to happen in this scene? Okay, let's get Revelation the 18th chapter. You know? This, hey, that's us thus saying, thus said the Lord, man. So, yeah, I can, I just hold it edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to you. By Shimmy Awasha, by Shimmy Kakadash, double honors to the positive elders, great millstone, shout out to the elect, this teacher, not too famous, Sari, DTA, a Bible ball.